everyone. Welcome back and tonight I want to show you a typical meal on the road that we cook and I'll be making my green lentil dal with homemade naan. Oh yeah. Dame's favourite. <laughs> Love it. So we hope you enjoy. Thanks. So we keep the uh, cooker and gas in here. Yes, boom. Yeah, we keep it in here so it's easy accessible. And I like to get out while Dame's doing that. I get out our knife and our chopping board, if you can reach in there, Dame. Yeah. Right at the back. Yeah. Bamboo chopping board. And then I put that back. And I put the knives and hooks back. This is Amy's favourite part of the trophy. <laughs> the herb and spices rack. Yay! So tonight I am making green lentil dal. It's a favourite, big favourite of ours. And I've already pre-done the naan bread. Um, I made it quite a few hours ago. Uh, it just needs time to rest. I'm gonna chop up a few things and let's get this curry started. One more thing before we start is I've already pre-soaked the lentils all day today as well. Um, and they look like this. Just been soaking in the pot for, a, I don't know, eight or 10 hours. And I'm gonna take these out of the pot into the bowl. Uh, because I need the pot to make the curry. Everything up in the pot and now I give it to Dame. My turn. And I'm just gonna put some coconut oil in. I grab you a spoon. There's your spoon.
Mega Nine. <laughs> so we have just put the coconut milk in with the spices. We're gonna bring it to a simmer. And before we add the lentils and the coconut sugar and the turmeric. Okay, so I'm gonna roll the naan now. Now, <laughs> it's nothing fancy. We don't have a roller. I don't have spare flour to put on the bench, so this is just the way we do it. Yep. <laughs> Maybe five times. Three, four, five, and then let it rest for a little bit longer. And if you wanted the um, recipe for the naan, I can put it in the description down below. It's very sticky. I'm just gonna let that rest for a minute while I cut up some, we like to put garlic and coriander into our naan. coconut flour because it does stick to the bench so definitely need flour down um, I still don't have a roller though which is okay but if I put the flour down it might be a bit easier so we just make simple like it you know it's really it's really nothing fancy I just like to make do with what I have. So, you know, we're just making like about that big. And then we just press like bits of garlic in, a bit of coriander everywhere. And that's how we do it. That's how we make our naans and the chicken. And they taste amazing. <laughs> yes, they do.
for about 15 to 20 minutes and now it's time to cook the naan which I'll leave Damien to do because I mean I've done all the hard work cooking I'm just a professional naan cooker, flipper Alright So we've got the pan hot We put some oil in Some coconut oil Coconut oil <laughs> Our favourite Grab a naan Get the good bits. <laughs> so we use a knife to get it out because when it's cold, it's really hard to get out. <laughs> the knife just cuts through it. The best way we've found. You do need a fair bit of coconut oil because the um, naan is quite porous and it soaks up soaks up all the oil quite fast. Is it cooked? Mm. Okay. So, I like to add a wedge of lemon if I can do this with one hand. Get all the good bits in there. On the flip. Should I go first? Mm. 
it's so good. Good. My turn. <laughs> Rolling up the sleeves. <laughs> Messy. <laughs> With your <laughs> mm. So good. I missed this. Oh. Hope you enjoyed. And what is it with? G'day. G'day.